My name is Don Knotts, and I've got a secret. From Hollywood, the show that reveals all, I've got a secret. And now let's meet the star of I've Got a Secret, Steve Allen. Good evening and welcome again to I've Got a Secret. Tonight's panelists are a familiar face on TV and at our house, Jane Meadows, <laughs> that eminent secretaire, Mr. Henry Morgan, one of our favorite panelists, the lovely actress Anita Gillette, and the joker in our deck, Richard Dawson. And that's well, our thank you. Yeah. Well, I don't see why not. <laughs> right to work as we meet tonight's first guest. Welcome, sir. Would you tell the panel your name? Raymond Sokolov. Mr. Sokolov, what's your occupation? I'm the food editor of the New York Times. <gasps> food editor. <laughs> Ordinarily, our audiences do not applaud for jobs, but I guess they're a little hungry at this time of the evening. <laughs> well, panel, Mr. Sokolov, in his uh, capacity with the New York Times, recently con conducted a consumer tasting session to test 11 widely marketed brands of prepared foods, and his secret, of course, involves this tasting session. If you'll whisper your secret to me, Mr. Sokolov, unless you've been eating onions, that is, <laughs> we'll let the audience know what it is. All seriousness aside, folks. <laughs> All right. All right, panel, the audience now knows the secret, which involves, as I've told you, his food tasting session, and we'll start the questioning with Richard Dawson. Uh, <clears throat> may I call you Raymond, sir? Uh, Ray. <laughs> oh, I'm not prepared to go that far. Oh, please. <laughs> okay, Ray. Uh, are we trying to find a particular uh, type of food that you tested? Mm hmm Is it a frozen food that we'd find in a supermarket? Uh, I don't think it's ever frozen, but I'm not sure of that. It's not frozen. Is it a... Uh, f is it margarine or butter or, or an equivalent, a dairy product of some kind? It's not a dairy product, no. No. Is it a, an artificial uh, product, something the way they say it's, uh, you know, apple? You mean completely artificial? Yeah. Is it a totally artificial no. food product? Is, is it edible? Yes, it's edible. <laughs> no, <laughs> Thanks, you, might, you might. One down and three to go. Jane? Now, is it just one thing we're to get, or is it the 11 that we have? No, just the whole, just, they're just, all the same. They're just all the different same. different brands. Would yeah. it be in the vegetable family? Well... You mean you mean non-meat? Yes. Well, veg. part partly. Because there was such a laugh from the audience, it sounded like it might be something like garlic or onions or something like that. Well, that's involved. <laughs> yeah. If, if in it had been onions, I would not have made a joke about onions. I assure you. But would would uh, uh, gar would it be? You said it's involved. Well, I, I mean, you shouldn't exclude that entirely. But if you concentrate on it, you will never get the secret. I <laughs> promise. Oh, I okay. Um, all right, so it's not a vegetable. Would it be something eaten at one meal more than another? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, <laughs> this is very interesting. Ray disagrees. I'm glad with, it keeps you interested. Oh, there. very much so. But Ray, I think, disagrees with the uh, audience and with you. Well, on it's one answer. of those, it's an ambiguous question, and just forget it. It won't help you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Henry, are you as confused as the rest of us? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ray, I'll go that yeah. far. Yes, Henry. Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> you can call me Mr. Morgan, but after a while, we'll... right. Uh, I gathered from something that was said that this is a mixed-up deal of some kind. Well, it's... It's several different kinds of products that are all in the same category. Okay. And, and there, there often is a mixture involved, yes. There often is a... <laughs> uh, what is in any way? Do you like Chinese food? I do like Chinese food. No, I didn't ask you that. I what? said... <laughs> <is> the... <laughs> Would you if... like some? <laughs> what? I, no, well... Anything. At if a, as a wild... You know, would it be a what? thing like chow mein, say? I don't know how to answer that question. It's more like chow mein than it is like Better the Empire like State Building. I know, yeah. like the other guys as well. <laughs> is it a food that we usually get served to us made up of... <laughs> it depends on where you eat, Henry. 
Yeah. Yeah. You, I think Jane has got the idea, but we'll, we'll uh, save that. It's, it's, uh, Jane always has the idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's your idea, Anita? It's, it's, not, it's not something Let like... Let me just tell it, you one thing, honey. What? It's not like the Empire State Building. <laughs> And it's not like, is it like pizza of any kind at all? Not really, no. Isn't, it's like, but is it, you do eat it, don't you? Yeah, I did. You, did <laughs> but you did, did you like it? Very little of it. Very little. <laughs> he probably has never eaten it before. Oh, it's something it. that you would never, you wouldn't, I wouldn't eat it, would I? Well, you might. I might. Actually, a, a fair number of people do, but it yes. isn't is well it, known. Is it a like a, a an a, like an insect of some sort, like an ant or no, a, a, no. You know, a, it's no, a, not an insect. It's not chocolate covered no. ants or as, something. As Mr. Sokolov suggested, millions of people actually do eat it, but not for very happy reasons. Richard, oh, you've already had your chance. Yeah, Get off I the know. stage, Richard. I've had enough. We're Jane too busy knows. here doing a program no, for your nonsense. Jane thought she knew, but now I'm not so sure. I thought maybe it was dog food. It That's is. what it is. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Sokolov. Can you explain to us why did an expert on fine restaurants and gourmet food decide to taste dog food? Well, hmm. I, uh, I learned that we spend more as a nation on dog food in a year than we do on baby food. And since the dog food is really marketed toward the owner rather than the dog's palate, I thought we would um, make a little fun as well as uh, educate see. people about dog food. Who is your associate in this test? Uh, my Saluki, whose name is Cleo. Saluki is a dog. Y uh, yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people don't know. No, that's, that's just East Coast lingo for yeah. stenographer. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have some of the doggy dishes here that were actually tested, and if we open the Great Wall, it'll be Chinese food time again. No, let's see what we have over there. Oh. And while we dine, we have in the other room Xavier Cougat playing for your dining and dancing pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. What's this, sir? Well, this uh, is beef and egg dinner with vegetables. Uh, would you like to try some? Not while I'm eating, no. Am I supposed to test it just as you did? Um, well, I think it would be nice. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's deep. Uh, you, yes, if Richard? You eat, if you eat that, you end up chasing cars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't need it. I'm always chasing God. Buicks. No, I don't mind the idea of eating food, but it's ice cold. I wouldn't eat ice cold goulash. It's, it's all it's all pretty terrible, but the uh, I, I didn't do much more than that when I taste most of these. This this is this one uh, is obviously again designed for the for the human being, mm -hmm. and it's made to look like uh, like a an, an, it's all it's almost all meat. Mm -hmm. And what is it? Uh, it's, it's it's horse meat chunks and meat butt. <laughs> Good. And they're at the post. Here is a dry food, which, which veterinarians told me is the ideal dog food, except that dogs don't like it. I see. Uh, fricassee of beaks and claws, I believe it is. The, that's into, this is the dried stuff you add water to it, right? Well, you can. Oh, look at these little yellow birds here. That's chicken-flavored, chicken but in fact, I remember tasting this You keep one. your opinions to yourself. <laughs> well, it isn't. A, it tasted like a sweet Passover cake to me. <laughs> And here, here, here is the only one which, which I thought really was uh, a, a pretty decent uh, human-wise. In that case, let's share it with the panel. Johnny, would you serve some of that to our panel? Sit up and beg, panel. Let's go over there, Mr. Sokolov, and uh, see if the panel survives what this part of the day. Thank you. These are kind of milk bones. Mr. Sokolov, why do they call, quite seriously, why is a milk bone called a milk bone? I really don't have any idea. It's a trademark. I don't know. It has milk bone. Well, no, it's bone called bone because it's shaped like a bone. It's supposed to be bony. Feel my nose. I don't feel so good. You know, this this reminds me of one of my uh, favorite peeves. The way they advertise this: What's that, your Harry? dog prefers cheese, or your dog prefers fish, or give him what's missing from you know what is secretly in his heart. That annoys you. And it annoys me endlessly because it's as, as Ray said, appealing to humans, not to dogs. There's no dog goes around saying, I, I want a little blue cheese, please. You know, that, uh, ridiculous. No, but you know this is delicious. Really? It, really? It, it is bad. really. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> Henry, honestly and truly, the butter is very good. You know, that's the best part of it. Yeah, and with strawberries and cream, it wouldn't be bad either. Well, Mr. Zakhalov, you've shown that food editors are a very interesting breed. And uh, among them, you're certainly a thoroughbred. Thank you for joining us. We'll continue in just one minute.
You're having breakfast with the stars on Game Show Network. Stay tuned. I'm Ranger Todd Newton. Now you're probably asking yourself, what can I do to help save the whammy? It's simple. Watch Whammy the all-new Pressure Luck. If you don't watch, Whammy disappears. So please keep watching and help save the Whammy. Gotta wash that down. Okay. And out, hopefully. Now let's meet our next guest. <clears throat> It just struck me as this nice lady walked out that she walks out cheerfully. Some people are cheerful, and you're cheerful. Oh, well, you all are breaking me up backstage. Oh, well, well, let's go back there and finish the show. Then. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Would you tell the... Uh, stop there. Would you tell the panel your name, please? Yes, my name is Jane Barbie. Well, Mrs. Barbie, you're a doll, I must say. <laughs> I'm sure everybody... All right, wait a minute. <laughs> Nobody paid to get in. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, uh, Mrs. Barbie? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Well, panel, Mrs. Barbie's doll, I mean, Mrs. Barbie's <laughs> voice is thirty. oh, gosh. <laughs> I got a dog bone stuck in my Clyde. I'm sorry. It's thoroughly familiar to all of us. You've heard it many times, and her secret concerns where you have heard her voice. If you'll whisper your secret to me, Mrs. Barbie, we'll let the audience know what it is. Ah, interesting. <laughs> The audience now knows the secret, of course, and it involves, again, where you might have heard or did hear, I'm sure, Mrs. Barbie's voice. We'll start the questioning with Jane. Mrs. Barbie, you have a very lovely voice, and of course, being Thank from you. Atlanta, you have a slight southern oh, accent. It's there. Now, mm -hmm. is this a voice that we hear on TV? Not out here. You might in Atlanta, but uh, it, it, is, it is not related to my secret. Right? True. Okay. But we have heard your voice somewhere. Mm -hmm. yes. Are you the voice for a character? No. Are you the voice for some... Someone. For someone famous? No. No. Not directly. Henry Morgan. Can't imagine if we don't hear you on TV, the only voices we hear regularly, I think, would be on the telephone. Um, do you do time or... That's it, Henry. Uh, he's yeah. shot. <laughs> That's right. He's May I have that phone, yes. Mrs. Barbie's voice is the uh, voice that you hear when you dial for the time. And I never knew until we met her today that she's the voice that you hear all over the country. I thought it was a different voice in each town. Oh. I'll dial this number. Do hear a voice. Do it, do it, do You'll it. hear a man's voice tonight saying, Janie ain't home, she's doing I got a secret. <laughs> the time, time will be 8, 36, there she and is. 10 seconds. Do you know? Well, oh, well, 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 do you know something? All the years, all the years that I've been dialing for the time, all over the country, it never occurred to me before that it's the same voice. Do you know all those years I owned a watch? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's the you voice. know, Jane, it's a fascinating thing why you didn't know it's the same voice. Would you explain why it might sound different? Well, we, we don't uh, go for an accent. What we go for is no accent at all. And I should tell you that when I'm working, I lose my Southern accent. But when I'm not, I'm me. But, but I'm a Southern gal, that's the way I talk. But we have different attitudes for different parts of the country. For, really? for the Northeastern part, we would have a, a little more edge in the voice, a crisper delivery. For Texas, we soften the voice a little and slow it down, you see. Yes, Henry. Well, may I ask you this, ma'am? You said we. Well, I, I do this for the Autocron Company, which is the company that provides the time service, uh, the yeah. weather service, mm -hmm. sometimes horoscope service. But it's uh, only you. Messages. It's only yes. her, yeah. right. But I think it's interesting that they picked a southern voice because it's the, the softest voice. Very pleasant. It's yes. the most pleasant of all the voices in America. How often would you guess your voice is heard during the average year? I am told about 25 billion times. <gasps> 25 billion? That's a heap of talking. That makes her the <laughs> biggest recording star of all time. Yeah. <laughs> you can't buy her records, but they're big hits. Yes. It'd be funny to buy one and just play it all day long just to get time oriented. That's very, very interesting indeed. Now, how do you go about recording the time? Well, we record the time in segments. We record all of the hours first, and then we record all of the minutes and all of the seconds. Uh, have a huge fat tape like this, and the tape head hops along and picks up the hour, the correct minute, and the correct mm. seconds. And if it's weather, it hops over to the correct mm. weather. Yes. Talk now, you said, we. Re I don't want to be a pest, but it's fascinating to me. 
You said we record. Did you do this more than once? Well, I make a master tape of all of the times uh, and, and the various weather degrees, you see. And from this, they feed it out to all, all, all over the country. And sometimes we have an advertising message that precedes it. And this I have to do frequently because they change, you see. Here you have just the time, I believe, but in some parts of the country, there is a little advertising message that goes before it. It's Has a tape ever gotten fouled up and everybody got the wrong time? Oh, I hope not. It happened one time, but they don't know what time it was because the tape was fouled up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mrs. Barbie, for joining us. Thank you. We'll be back with our guest star, Don Knox, right after these messages. Just as I suspected, it's another case of lingo. <gasps> this could get hairy. Harry, H A R R Y. Lingo, the new word game with Chuck Woolery, weeknights at 7:30 on Game Show Network. Hello, hello, H E L L O. Thank you, Johnny. Panel, we ask you now, please, to put on your little old blindfolds because we're going to bring out tonight's guest star, uh, a fellow I know you all know very well. We worked together for many years. Uh, he did some of the wilder comedy routines on my old show. Blindfolds on. Okay, welcome, please, the Emmy Award-winning comedian, Mr. Don Knotts. Nice to have you, Don. Hi. Oh, uh, by the way, before we... Uh... I just wanted to say something. I don't know who prepares your snacks back there, but it's just awful. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. What do you... Oh, okay. Well, it's nice to be uh, working with you again, Don. Uh, same here, Steve. <laughs> uh, well, whisper your secret to me. <laughs> we'll let the audience know what it is. We'll let me know what it is, too. That's the secret? Well, okay. <laughs> Panel, Don's secret is that he's doing something right now. We'll start the questioning with Anita. Hi, Don. Hi. Uh, are you doing something with Steve? <laughs> Why does that get a laugh? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> are you doing something to yourself, with yourself, by yourself? <laughs> I think we have to clear that through Irving Berlin, don't we? I'd say with Steve. You're doing it with Steve. Mm -hmm. um, is, are you, 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 do you have something in your hands? Some, uh, some kind of... No. Are you doing anything physical? No. You're not doing anything... Well, oh, wait a minute, excuse me. As That's distinguished right. from yeah. mental, it's physical, yeah. It's physical. Uh, you, you may remove your blindfold now, Anita. Richard? <laughs> Oh, that's... Hi, Don. How are you? Hi, Richard. <laughs> are you doing something to Steve, like painting him or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> are you doing anything, uh, changing costumes? No. But you are doing it to Steve, whatever it is? Not to him, actually. Well, <laughs> in a sense. At him? With him. <laughs> you're, do a... you're doing it with him? Mm-hmm. Uh... I feel like a dummy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know, you might have to get married to Steve after this show, from what I can... Uh, is this some... I don't think so. Jane, you may take off your blindfold. No, I'm not taking it off now. <laughs> you don't now, want to Don, yes. you said you feel like a dummy. <laughs> Were, was that just, you know, something you said, or are you sitting on Steve's lap? Uh, <laughs> that's what he's doing. Well, sir, I've never had a better time in my whole life. Ah. Well, you big blabber mouth. Uh, <laughs> You're no, that's fun. It's actually been a lot of fun uh, having you with us again. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not the first time I've held him up on television, I'll tell you that. I used to hit the sauce. No, it's, uh, <laughs> it's very nice to... Uh, to have you. I feel like Edgar Bergen that, now that he... he I does. can get him for it if you want me to. <laughs> Henry, do you have any closing comment before we... Uh... Don't ask him, don't ask him. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> yes. No, I think, I think it was a fine spot. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and better luck next time, right? Well, you thank you, wonderful. Don. You may get up now. Do I have to? Get out of here. <laughs> My pants and I have a pressing appointment. Thank you very much, Don, for being our guest. Don Knox, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 
I've Got a Secret returns after these words. Up next, have another helping of breakfast with the stars. After that, stay tuned for those hungry card sharks and then win, lose, or draw. We're a little late. Our next guest is right here. What's your name, please? Mrs. Bernie Allen. Mrs. Bernie Allen. Where do you live? Uh, Paris, California. Paris, California. Panel, Mrs. Allen's secret, this Mrs. Allen's secret, concerns a hen that she owns and also concerns this basket of eggs. If you'll whisper your secret to me, Mrs. Allen, we'll let the home audience in on it. Huh. Interesting. And that's the truth. Uh, the audience now knows the secret, which concerns, as I said, Mrs. Allen's hen and this basket of eggs. We'll start the questioning with Henry, I believe. Hi, bye. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Um, uh, Ma'am, the, the only things I know about eggs that people, you know, show around are either they're larger than anybody's or they have more yolks. Like, you know, like double yolked eggs or something like that. Or that the hen is raising eggs that are not chickens. You know, they give her some kind of other egg. It's none of those, Henry. Or, no, it's all right, I'll get to it. <laughs> How long is this thing going to... Um, nothing like that. No. No. Then it, uh, I can assume that there is no, what we'd call a gimmick to these eggs. These are ordinary... No. No, there is... <laughs> These are ordinary hen's eggs. It's yes, something you are. probably would describe as a gimmick, if I know your gimmickry, Henry. <laughs> Anita. The, the gimmick is in the eggs? I mean, the, the gimmick is there's something to do that the, the way the eggs look? Mm -hmm. The way the eggs look? Mm -hmm. Are they square? I mean... <laughs> You know, I never know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, off. Richard? Why do they do that to Because me? we're out of time. Richard? <laughs> Certainly. First of all, you're a very beautiful lady, Mrs. Allen. Oh. I just love your face. That's, I just mm. wanted to use one of my questions. Those eggs, do they belong to the hen? That... They do. Are they a different color? Yes, yes, they are a different color. What color? Then is... I don't want to pry any further. <laughs> it's her business. Jane, do you have any thoughts? Would they be brown? Mm. No. Yellow? No. no. Pink, Speckled. Red, blue. Green. No. Green. That's green. what they are. Green. Oh, I love that. They're very pale green, but they are green indeed, and uh, we'll get a close-up of them. Uh, very definitely green if your set's uh, Ooh, yeah. tuned up. Unfortunately, That's... we've run out of time, and, and the answer is she doesn't know why it happens. Nobody has any even theories. It doesn't work at all. We're, We're out, out of time. Of Thank green. you very much, Mrs. Allen. Thank you, panel. See you all next week. Bye-bye. I mean, think about it, man. What is a hole? It's a door. And you know what else is a door? Life. It's a door from one plane to the next. Don't look at me like that, man. This shit is serious. <laughs> what? I'm not some nut job. La, 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 la. Life and death, good and bad, black and white. I've seen it, man. This thing is bigger than you and me. This program was recorded.